services of the Jesus is my way hour emanating live and direct from the sanctuary of the New Nazareth Missionary Baptist Church located at 7933 South Yates Boulevard in Chicago, Illinois. We are broadcasting live on radio station 1570 AM WGBX, the Big Gospel Express. Our organizing pastor was the late Reverend Dr. J.E. Hopkins, and our pastor is the one and only Reverend Dr. Jarvis J. Hansen. It is our sincere prayer that a song may be sung, a prayer may be prayed, or just by listening to our beloved pastor that you be uplifted, encouraged, and inspired. Please let us know how you how much you are enjoying our services by calling us at 773-731-4747 or 4748. You may also write to us in care of the church and pastor. All contributions may also be addressed to the church in care of Reverend Dr. Jarvis J. Hanson. chapter the 28th to the 31st verse. Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall ultimately fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. And the word of the Lord is already blessed.
this broadcast will be rendered by the voices of New Nazareth. We bring you the voices of New Nazareth singing, Rise Up and Give God the Praise. This broadcast is dedicated to the following, Sister Dorothy Terrell, Reverend Charles Conway, Deacon Clance Judd, Sister Queen Easton, and Sister Essie Wilkins, Sister Emily Short, Mother Lola Mae Lewis, Deacon Craig Harvey, Brother Harold Hamler, Deacon Chuck Crawford, Sister Lillian Gordon, Deacon Holly Wilson, Sister Bobby Gilmore, Sister Kim Hamill, Sister Joe Pagan, Deacon Lucia Patrick, Sister Della Anderson, Sister Hattie Davis, Sister Valerie Donaldson, Brother Billy Davis, Sister Lenore Brownridge in the Bernard Mitchell Hospital, Sister Shirley Roman, Sister Patricia Clark in the Northwestern Hospital, and Sister Angie Lee Parson and her family, and Sister Shirley Cox. Rise up and give God the praise.
Tune to radio station WBGX 1570 Big Gospel Express, streaming live on favornetwork.net. Live and direct from the main sanctuary, this is the New Nazareth Missionary Baptist Church, yes. located at 7933 South Yates Boulevard, where our pastor over here is the one and only Reverend Dr. Java J. Hansen. We bring you the voice of New Nazareth back in singing Sound of Praise.
You might as well give it to him. If he loved to hear it, you might as well give it to him. Some of y'all ain't opened your mouth all day. But I'm here to declare things are getting better. If you learn how to open your mouth and give him what he loves to hear. I wish I had about 20 of y'all that can go ahead and throw your hands up in the air. It don't take much to praise him. Just open your mouth and tell him thank you. Thank you. No, you, you can do better than that. Thank you. Can I get 30? That can think about one thing that you know that the Lord has done. Can I get one witness in here that can think about one thing? And when you get it, just get on your feet and tell them thank you. Uh, oh, he loved to hear, tell him. Now nah, come on, do it corporately. Thank you. Yes, sir. Doc. Thank you. What you're thanking him for, you tell him neighbor, this is what I'm thanking him for. He been too good to me. Tell him I'm thanking him for the answer I'm getting ready to get. He ain't did it yet. But if you ain't too mean, just wretch up and say, thank you. Thank you. Oh, we do. And you've been good. So good. Oh, yeah. he been good to me. Can you do me one more favor? Just link up with somebody. Grab, grab, grab my the hand and, and just tell him, neighbor. I, I don't know where I be. Without the Lord, he opened doors. He picked me up. Oh, he answered prayer. Yeah. You can do better than that. You can do better than that. You come on. He's been good. Come on, worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Bible says he inhabits the praises of his people that means that where he feels appreciated that's where he shows up and if you don't appreciate him in his house you might miss out on his presence because when he shows up he doesn't come empty handed. But look at somebody and tell him he's always bearing gifts. Anybody need him? Anybody need him to show up? So I just need you. I'm serious. Do you need, listen, he doesn't just have to show up here. 
But if you praise him here, he'll go to where you need him to be. So I just need somebody to just take 10 seconds and give him the best praise that you got. One, two, three, go, go. Now, now you can do better than that. You need him to show up. Now, if you need him, help me, Holy Ghost. If you need him to show up, you can't get cute with it. If you need him to show up, I dare you to get on your feet and just praise him like you know he's right around the corner. Come on, Zion. Come on. Give, give him better than that. Give him, give him better than that. You know, no. You need a healing. You, you need a breakthrough. You, you need a son to come home. You, you need a daughter to do right. You need a bill paid. You need something to get out of foreclosure. Open up your mouth. Shout and praise him for better. Hey. Desmond, praying for your brother as his father has transitioned. Want to announce those homegoing services Saturday, August 8th at the New Covenant Baptist Church. Pre pass will be at 10 and the funeral will be at 11. And uh, cards and condolences and resolutions to Angela. Parsons in care of New Covenant Church. God is able <clears throat> and God is a keeper. Can we just be spontaneous for a moment? Can we just be spontaneous for one moment? If, if you feel that yours is on the way, oh, can you just go ahead and push one more out? Just uh, uh, See, uh, uh, listen, the song said he, he he loves to hear the sound of praise. So just one more time, just spontaneously, just give him a spontaneous holler. One, two, three. Just Wait a minute, wait a minute. Can, can you just jump on your feet and just, wait a minute, I, this, this is going to be radical. This is going to be radical. This is going to be radical. This is for my radical saying now. Everybody, 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 everybody ain't going to do this, but anybody needs something that you never had before? So those of you can, can I, I just need you to do a spontaneous praise. But what I want you to do, I want you to give a Jericho lap, if you will, that your walls are tumbling down and get out your seat and just run around. You, you can walk around this church and just holler and tell them thank you. One, two, three, go, go. Just get up and just get out your seat and go. Give you a Jericho. Maybe you can't make it around. Just throw your hands around it.
That's somebody breakthrough right there. That's somebody healing right there. That. That's somebody getting another job right there. That's, that's a better doctor report right there. That's somebody's son coming off the street right there. That's peace of mind. You just took a walk and you walked into destiny. Go ahead, go ahead. You you got sucks. I... Okay, okay, wait, hold it, hold it. Okay, something that, that may have been a little bit too extreme for some of y'all. But I, is there anybody here know that things are turning around for you? So just do me a favor. If you can't stand, this is what you do. Tell your neighbor, SOS, scoot over some. And just, just take a victory circle for what you know. Ah! Are you working out? Y'all ain't making this easy now, y'all ain't. Wait a minute, the Lord just told me to tell you, hold it. This time you turn, this is for better. Somebody been praying for better all week long. And so what I want you to do is just go ahead and do a victory turn for better. One, two, three. Okay, I, I hear you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You better turn for somebody that ain't here. You've been praying for them. They ain't made it yet, but they're on their way. So you got to do it for them. Somebody did it for you. Somebody did it for you. So go ahead. Go ahead. One, two, three, one, one. Ah! Thank <laughs> you. 
Hold it, I got another email. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I don't mean to get in your business. I don't know what's going on, and it really don't matter. All I need to do is do a turn for you and say, neighbor, if you turn for me, I'll turn for you. So, so just go ahead and say, neighbor, this for you. Daddy is, daddy is, daddy is. Feel better coming. I see better coming. I see better coming. I see better coming. I see better coming. It looks good on you. It looks good on you. It looks good on me. It looks good on me. I feel healing coming. I feel healing coming. I see my son coming. I see my daughter coming. All my bills been paid. 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 paid. Work it out. He worked 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 it out. Look at somebody say, it's already all right. It's already all right. It's already all right. It's already all right. All right. All right. There go, there go. Y'all, y'all need to cut it out. Y'all need to stop it. I, I need to see how many got fire without music. How many know your blessing is coming? So just, I, I need to come on, just. I, I see them back there. They got it. What about in this pool pit? What? Yeah. You need to tell somebody, my blessing is, is riding on this. This praise is about to bring me to my destiny. My children will be all right. My finances will be all right. Oh, I just got a prophetic, I got a prophetic word for somebody. The Lord just told me to tell you from now on. You don't have to worry about borrowing anything from anybody else because God gonna make you the lender. I wish I had a witness in here. Somebody going through depression, I, I hear you. Somebody dealing with a panic attack. So God is getting ready to say, I'm getting ready to give you peace that will that when you find yourself in the midnight hour, can't function and can't deal. I'll make sure that the enemy are uh, here the word saying, when the enemy comes in like a flood, I was at the spirit. Well, raise him up a standard. So you better go ahead and shout. Go, 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 go. That's your word. That's your word.
Malor, malor, malor. So let the chance say yeah. 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 Say yeah. 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 He's all I need. What, what is he going to do? He made a way. He made a way. I'm speaking as it's already done. He made a way. Oh, made a way. Y'all, y'all, y'all will forgive me. Deborah, come here. Deborah, come here. What you do in advance? Just say, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. How many know God is still a healer? What I want you to do is, hand that I'm touching, I want you to go touch mama. This is what the Lord telling me to tell you to do. Because I, I am a witness that it doesn't matter what they say. God doesn't move until he's ready. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I need some prayer warriors that will just come and touch and agree. I'm moving by what the Lord told me to do. And I want you to use this hand that I'm anointing now. He's a healer. We're going to trust him to do what we know he can do. Hold that hand. Kiana, come here. Come here, man. Come here. The Lord has you. 
Do you hear me? Let him deal with the pain. Let him deal with the hurt. I don't know why he has me telling you this. But don't be angry with him. You hear me? He knows you hurt him. And it's all right to pour out your complaint. Talk to him like you would talk to anybody. Tell him how you feel. But after you tell him how you feel, let him pour into you. God does everything for a reason. And even, even though we don't understand why he may do what he may do, but he knows all things. And I, I want you to just go pour out your complaint before him. And then after you pour out, let him pour into you. And when, 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 once you do that, he'll release you. Father, in the name of Jesus, as we move in you and by your spirit, I feel like now you with dealing with Jairus and a woman with the issue of blood, as we're praying for one, we're praying for another. This lets us know that we're in the neighbor, you're in the neighborhood. God, I pray now that you would give healing as we as we move by your spirit. Go out to the hospital, Lord. God, you work in mysterious ways. You do things that uh, we we don't understand why you do it, but you're God, and you we, we believe you to be so much God that that what medicine can do, we know miracle can. Touch right now in the name of Jesus, as I anoint her hand. I pray, oh God, that you would use this hand to bring comfort and healing right now. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you for who you are. We thank you for what you've done. But as we ask for comfort and healing, we ask for release right now. Ask, oh God, for peace right now. That you'd give understanding right now. We thank you. And we touch and agree now. Do this for us now. We rebuke any, any illness, whether physical, mental, in the name of Jesus. Jesus rebuke the enemy now. We rebuke depression, anxiety, the feeling of being alone. Cover right now. Cover right now. Cover right now. We thank you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Heal. In Jesus' name. Restore. And God, we know you do it in your timing. But God, we're asking that you do something specifically. We know you got your perfect will. But God, if you permit this for us, we'll be thankful. We'll be grateful in the name of Jesus. We thank you. And I need somebody to shout and say thank you on their behalf. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Mm, I, I just need to touch somebody else. I feel you. Come on. Where are you? Where are you? Come on. I, 
touch right now in the name of Jesus. Strengthen right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus. We rebuke that right now.
Thank you.
doors of the church are open. The doors of the Lord's house are, are open. Certainly the Lord not has been but is in this place. Yes, he is. You're here today, you're out of fellowship. You haven't accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior. You're looking for a church home. I want to invite you to come. Some the raw that just go back to that, yeah. Still wait. That's con confirmation. That's confirmation. Just a little bit. I'm waiting on you. You hear? You got a church. You got a fellowship. I'm waiting on you. <clears throat> There's still room for more. The Lord answers prayer. Uh, before I left um, my office yesterday afternoon, the Lord spoke and said, I, I haven't done this in a while. He said, what I want you to do before you leave, and I almost didn't do it because I was being lazy and wanted to get out of here but he said, you got to go upstairs and touch every pew in this sanctuary and just cry out, Jesus. And, but, but it was something that happened um, 
when I got to the doorpost, he had me labor on the doorpost. And I found myself waving my hand over each doorpost. And I was like, what do you want? What is this for? He said, he said you remember uh, that they put the blood. I told him to put the blood over the doorpost. He said, I want to make sure that you tell the folk that all who walk in will be covered and all who walk out will be covered and just in case you didn't get a chance to make it up here and say Reverend I couldn't make it I just want to let you know because the Lord said so that you're covered and and soon as you walked in the Lord just covered you and showered you did y'all hear what I said the effectual fervent pr I mean I went all around I touched every chair every uh, seat in that choir stand just look at somebody and say we're covered <clears throat> touch the instruments I even went and laid hands on that sound system just holler, holler in somebody's ear just tell them we're covered we're covered mm -mm. Come on, let's get ready to give.